Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. I hope everybody's okay. If you could please subscribe to my channel, it's a red and white subscription button. Also, click the notification bell. I upload at least five times a week. This week is four times a week on my travel channel and five times a week on my lifestyle channel uh, but um, today I'm going to be uh, doing a, a, a travel vlog and, and it's basically going to be called UK's Travel News Latest Government Roadmap Out of Lockdown so uh, that's is according to the www.bbc.co.uk website and I'm going to fire away with uh, the government and um, UK is or easing lockdown step by step and plans to end England's restrictions by the 21st of June 2001 in a four-step phase. Yay! So that would be a great a date to look forward to um, or restrictions ending by the 21st of June this year so people can enjoy summer holidays hopefully. So, um, I'm going to fire away um, from next month, which is uh, the first phase, uh, from the 8th of March, all school, uh, schools will open uh, with outdoor after school sports and activities allowed, uh, recreation in, oh, sorry, recreation in outdoor public spaces such as, such as parks uh, will be allowed uh, to people um, meaning they will be allowed to sit down for a coffee drink or have a picnic uh, which again is um, a lovely thought um, and that will be um, on the 8th of March also care homes um, residents allow one regular visitor which is great for uh, people at care homes and their regular visitor from the 29th of march and um, outdoor gatherings of either six people or two households will be allowed and um, it um, is understood uh, there will be it will include gatherings in parks, um, such as places. Also, uh, you can travel outside your local area. Um, also, a private garden. Um, again, you can have a gathering there in a private garden. Outdoor sport facilities, such as tennis, private garden you can associate up to six people in a private garden outdoor sport facilities such as tennis basketball courts will reopen and organized adults and children's sports such as football will also return um, on that date now the second step from the 12th of April this is really exciting it would see major parts of the economy permitted to reopen yay uh, non-essential retail can open hairdressers and some public buildings like libraries um, will be able to reopen also outdoor settings like um, alcohol takeaways at beer gardens zoos and theme parks uh, can return on that date the 12th of april 
also indoor leisure facilities such as gyms and swimming pools and leisure centres uh, can return on the 12th of April, yay! Um, last, also self-contained holiday accommodation such as self-catering um, flats or apartments and uh, campsites can be reopened also on the 12th of April uh, but uh, wider social contact rules uh, will continue to apply in all settings meaning no indoor mixing between different households um, so will not be allowed um, Mr Johnson has um, also confirmed the end of the hospitality curfews and requirements uh, to eat um, a substantial meal alongside alcohol and um, he said um, a review of international leisure travel restrictions will be announced by the 12th of April 2021 at the earliest so again um, for international travel you won't be allowed until the very earliest um, the 12th of April when it's going to be announced um, unless it's absolutely essential um, step 3 is at the 17th of May 2021 outdoor most social contact rules will be lifted and six people or two households uh, can meet indoors also indoor hospitality and hotels can, uh, can reopen as well on that day step three the 17th of may step four which is the last step the 21st of june 2001 uh, 2021 all legal limits on social contact removed hope to reopen closed sectors of the economy such as nightclubs also the government restrictions on weddings and funerals uh, yes i think again if um, everybody sticks to the rules and abides by the rules um i think um, again um, hopefully, fingers crossed, and um, then summer holidays um, will be back on by, uh, by the summertime. So that's again really exciting news um, to look forward to. And um, I think um, again, um, if everybody it sticks to the rules then and providing the r rate goes down then i think again um the hospitality sector will be able to reopen again and people will be allowed to do more things um, including um go on holidays and vacations abroad and uh, do a non-essential travel um, which again is really good um, because again it's going to be brilliant for everybody so um, again I really hope the vaccinations keep on working and everybody sticks to the rules and hopefully we'll be out of lockdown by uh, the 21st of June if everything goes well so I'm glad to bring some uh, positive news and I would like to say thank you for watching and um, my next uh, travel news updates will be tomorrow and it'll be 10 exciting brand new travel facts worldwide at uh, part 8 so please stay tuned for that and um, I hope everybody has a brilliant um weekend and um also has a fantastic day or as fantastic as possible and i would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye